I want to redo my video on uh, the short row technique on these little machines. Um, the first time I did this, I was just learning how to do it, and I've had a little bit more practice since. I'm working on a sock now, and I've removed the whole thing on um, waist joints so that I could hold a certain number of needles. So if your pattern tells you to uh, knit uh, so many stitches and then wrap and turn, this is the technique you would use um, if you're following a hand knitting pattern. If you're following a flatbed knitting machine pattern, it will probably tell you to hold X number of needles, which I've done on waist yarn here. So for this sock, I need to knit 12 stitches and then wrap and turn on the 13th stitch. So without going into the whole sock process, I'm just going to show the short row technique, how I would wrap and turn the needle that's mentioned in the uh, pattern. Okay, here's the wrap and turn. Here's my needle number 12, which means this is my 12th stitch that I'm going to knit. So I'm going to knit past this sinker post right here, but I'm not going to allow needle number 13 to knit. So the way I do that, I'll just let that stitch sink past that sinker post and I'm putting a little pressure on my working yarn. I'm going to start to reverse and as needle number 13 is not being allowed to grab that yarn, as it's coming back in the other direction, my carriage is between those two needles. Needle number 13 is the one I need to get rid of or empty, so I'm going to sink it just a little bit. And so the wrap part of it, I'm using these stitch markers like this, and I'm just going to reach in there and grab that. Let's see if my hand was in the way. My hook is going to be pointing that way, and I'm just going to reach behind and grab that wrap first. You always want to grab the wrap first. And then I'm going to reach in there and I'm going to take that stitch off of that needle and place it from behind the stitch onto that same holder. And right now I'm not worried about how stretched out that is. So I'm going to continue like I'm, I'm knitting the next row and I'm going to sink that needle to hold everything in place. And once it's anchored I'm going to tug on my working yarn and I want to size this wrap right here. I want to size it to where it's lined up with the needle that I'm going to hang it back on later. So I'm just going to, because you don't want the, the wrap to be too tight because you'll never be able to stretch it over that needle, but you don't want it to be loose either. So I just kind of eyeball it to where it's about the length from this needle to this needle and I'm going to stop there and just let it go and continue knitting to the other side. Now for this sock I need to uh, wrap and turn one stitch at the edge uh, of every row. So when I come back, this is the next needle that I need to wrap and turn. So I'm only going to let this needle knit by letting the yarn pop down over that sinker post. And then I'm going to begin to knit the next row. And I'm going to let the needle that I need to empty sink down enough to get the stitch off. But I have not allowed that needle to grab this yarn. This is going to be my wrap. So on this side, you want to point your holder in that direction. Grab it from behind, then take the stitch off of the needle and place it from behind the knit stitch. Hopefully my hand is not in the way. Onto that holder. And that will make you um, more apt to put it back on the needle without twisting it. So while this is still a little bit baggy, I'm going to go ahead and continue knitting that next row, sink that needle to hold it, and then resize that wrap by pulling on my working yarn and I'm lining that up a little bit. I can let go of that and I'm going to try to do it a little faster now. Go back to the other end. I'm going to locate the needle I need to empty next. I'm going to knit past this sinker post here. Start to knit the next row and uh, do my wrap. You can grab it with a hook or you can grab it with your stitch holder. And this one needs to face that way, so I'm going to reach in there and grab that. 
sink that a little bit more so I can get a hold of that stitch. Place it on the holder with the wrap from behind the stitch. Close my marker. Continue knitting the row. Sink that first stitch. Size the wrap and continue to the other end. Locate the next needle that needs to be emptied. Stitch past or knit past that single post that's between those two. Start the knit the next row. Grab a holder and continue doing the same thing over and over again. Now that's the decreases. So I'm continuing to knit that row. I'm sizing my wrap. And I'm going to do this for my sock um, four times on each side. So I've already done two on each side. So when I finish this, then I'll show you how to put those stitches back on the needles. Coming up to my last wrap and turn here that I need to decrease. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start picking up those stitches. So I'm going to wrap this last needle on the right, wrap and turn, just like a hand knitting pattern might tell you to do. If you don't wrap, then you'll end up with a hole where you stopped knitting and reversed back. Sometimes you might want that hole, but most of the time, most of the time you do not. So I'm going to start, now that I'm doing the, the sock, I need to start uh, turning my heel. So um, my pattern would tell me something like pick up and knit the wrap and the and the the uh, stitch that you um, that you held or did not knit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which needle I need to rehang and and locate that, and I'm going to watch it as it comes up, and then I'm going to open up my little holder. And the reason I face it in that direction and to begin with is so that I could easily get the knit stitch off first and hang it without twisting it and then the wrap and sometimes you might want to go ahead and stretch it right now and get it on that needle sometimes if you um, pulled it too tight earlier you may have a hard time getting it on there so I just kind of turn my handle as I need to to get that stitch popped down where it needs to go And then I'll go ahead and finish knitting that stitch. So that's the first stitch that the pattern has told me to start knitting. I'm not going to wrap on the way back because I'm increasing and I don't need it for this sock. So the next needle I need to rehang is this one. So I'm going to wait till it pokes up. Do the same thing on this side, pick up that knit stitch the same way I hung it on the holder, hang it back on the, the needle first, stretch out my wrap a little bit, and rehang it. And you would repeat that back and forth until you have all of the needles a back and work that you that you need to re-knit and continue on with the rest of your sock. So I'm going to go ahead and finish knitting that by letting that sink past that sinker post there and then go back in the other direction. Let me do one more. This is my next needle that needs to be filled. Stretch that out a little bit. That's my wrap. And don't worry if... Um, it's not going on there right away. Just kind of wiggle your handle till you get it. And remember, I haven't knitted it yet. I have to go past it and then back. And I'll continue that till I have all of my stitches back in work. And um, so when you see a pattern that tells you to wrap and turn, um, that's the short row technique.